The first teaser for Polestar's upcoming electric SUV, the Polestar 3, was released by the company in June of 2021. In addition to this news, the corporation declared that it will construct the automobile in the U.S. Listen to what we have learned so far regarding the upcoming major launch from Polestar. Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Tech Electric. Today we'll give you the latest updates on the new Polestar 3 electric SUV. Are you people excited? So let's dive into the video, but before that, please hit the bell icon and subscribe to the channel. First, let's start with the exterior. Missoni confirmed that the Polestar 3 styling would be inspired by the Precept concept shown at the 2020 Beijing Auto Show. Polestar 3 will be a sporty SUV with a sleek design. It will have a hexagonal compact upper grille, horizontally flipped T-shaped headlamps, a trapezoidal lower grille, and triangular cutouts in the bumper's outer sections that could conceal the vehicle's LiDAR sensors. According to a leaked patent image on Burlap Car, Polestar will offer a front trunk or frunk in the 3. The car has a dynamic appearance thanks to a sharp kick in the belt line and a slim greenhouse. The roof line slopes slightly towards the back, preserving headroom. The SUV's flush door handles add a touch of minimalism. The new official image reveals a strong shoulder area, thick body cladding, four double-spoke wheels in a two-tone finish, and yellow brake calipers as visual highlights. The Polestar 3 has a broad and powerful rear stance. From this angle, it doesn't lean forward, giving it a confident appearance. The chunky taillight spans the width and ends with wide C-shapes, emphasizing these features. The Polestar 3 could have been a three-row SUV, but it didn't have to be. According to Ingalath, choosing a two-row seating layout allows for a more aerodynamic roofline. There is also the important additional benefit of making the passenger experience comfortable and luxurious. Polestar prioritizes luxury and sportiness over family hauling capability. Now about the interior. The Polestar 3 will be a strict five-seater. Polestar, Volvo Car Group's second passenger car brand, is also expected to offer an EV without leather. In a February 2021 interview with Forbes, Ingenlath was asked how much of the Precept's inventive thinking would make its way into the Polestar 3. In response, he stated that market and regional Polestar officials now recognize the importance of investing in new designs and technology. In the same response, he hinted at a Polestar 3 interior devoid of leather. Ingenlath also stated that the natural fiber material it developed with B-Comp for the Precept Concept seats is now in production. So far, neither the one coupe nor the two sedan-style hatchbacks have offered a leather-free interior. Features of Polestar 3 It is safe to assume that the Polestar 3 will include numerous technological, comfort, and convenience features, many of which will be shared with the Polestar 2. A lot of emphases should be placed on connected car solutions and onboard entertainment, which should include premium features such as Polestar Digital Key, video streaming app, premium Harman Kardon sound system, and so on. A head-up display and a widescreen digital instrument cluster are possible features. Polestar Digital Key, which is currently in beta, works with a total of 18 Bluetooth sensors in and around the Polestar 2. While the vehicle is parked or charging, the video streaming app, which is also in beta, allows the user to stream content directly to the vehicle's center display. Both features should be finished by the time the Polestar 3 goes on sale. The Polestar 2 has a 13-speaker, 600-watt Harman Kardon sound system with two subwoofers, so the Polestar 3 would provide a rich audio experience as well. The Polestar 3's main selling point will be hands-free autonomous driving via Highway Pilot. In this model's case, SAE Level 3 could be the desired level of autonomy, which could be achieved with a software upgrade later in the life cycle. Polestar has informed investors that the 3 will eventually gain an unsupervised highway pilot. The software for the 3's highway pilot will be provided by Zensiact. The hardware of the 3's automated driving system may be similar to that of the Volvo Embla. The NVIDIA Drive Orin SoC will power the autonomous driving computer and a Luminar LiDAR sensor will be standard. The Polestar 3 will have an Android Automotive OS-powered infotainment system. Customers, particularly those accustomed to Android devices such as smartphones, tablets, and TVs, would find it very easy and familiar to use onboard functions via the vehicle's center screen. Customers can use Google Maps, Spotify, Audible, and Google Podcasts on the go directly in the infotainment system by downloading apps from the Google Play Store. Specifications The Polestar 3 and XC90's electric sister will share a platform and battery. 
The new platform that will underpin the Polestar 3 offers a level floor, improving cabin space. Expect a wide wheelbase, larger wheels, short overhangs and more storage space between the front seats. This platform positions the seats so the driver has a high eye point despite the vehicle's low height. In a low-slung design, passengers would sit higher. The Polestar 3 should be a performance-focused enthusiast model like the Lotus Elettra. Polestar chief engineer Joachim Rydholm said last year that it'll be fun to drive. Rydholm said all Polestar models make drivers feel connected. The 3 will flow more than the 2 for obvious reasons. Polestar's new P10 motor for future EVs can provide up to 450 kilowatts. In AWD variants, it may reach up to 650 kilowatts of combined power. A two-speed gearbox is also under development. In September 2021, the firm showed its new motor and gearbox. Green Car Reports interviewed Polestar's head, Gregor Hembro, about the P10 motor on December 20, 2021. The new electric motor will be 1.5 times more powerful than the Taycan's. The target output is 475 kilowatts. Polestar won't share engines with Volvo or Lotus, Hembro said. Polestar chief designer Max Missoni said the three will drive differently than the next-generation XC90's electric brother, the Volvo Concept Recharge. The Polestar electric car will have sportier handling than the Volvo SUV. Range and Charging Polestar has confirmed that its next three launches, including the Polestar 3, will have WLTP ranges of more than 600 kilometers. In that case, the EPA-estimated range of the luxury aero SUV will be around 300 miles. Polestar intends to include a 103-kilowatt-hour battery pack in its vehicles, with the Polestar 3 possibly being the first to receive one. It will be an 800-volt battery pack developed in collaboration with Volvo Cars and Lotus. A multi-speed charging system will allow you to switch between 800 and 400 volts. It will take about 20 minutes to charge the battery to 80% SOC using an 800-volt charger. Bi-directional vehicle-to-grid compatibility will be available in next-generation Polestar EVs equipped with the company's cutting-edge battery technology. As a result, the three would be capable of powering home appliances, charging electronics, and charging other EVs with the energy stored in its battery pack. The power output for bi-directional charging would be set at 20 kilowatts, according to Green Car Reports. Charging to 80% in under 20 minutes is possible. Polestar 3 Price and Release Date Ingenlath revealed Polestar 3 prices will start around 77,000 USD at the 2022 Automotive News Europe Congress. The Polestar 3 will, however, be available in European markets rather than the US. On the same day, Automotive News Europe reported that American customers will pay the same based on the USD EUR exchange rate parity. Polestar confirmed the Polestar 3 will be unveiled in October 2022 in a press release issued on May 19, 2022. The company expects to begin taking orders on the same day as the world premiere. That means the company could begin series production as early as the end of 2022. According to Ingenlath, the upcoming electric SUV made in the US and China will stand out among other SUVs and bring significant growth to propel the company into its next phase. The Polestar 3 will compete with other luxury performance electric SUVs such as Audi e-tron and the Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo. The former has a range of 252 miles, while the latter has a range of slightly more than 300 miles. The Polestar 3 will still have more range than the Model X, as the Tesla has a 350-mile range versus the Polestar 3's 372-mile range. In comparison to the Porsche, it is clear that the Polestar 3 will have more ground clearance, making it a more capable SUV rather than a tarmac-only vehicle. So now it's time to wrap up. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then give this video a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and press the bell icon so you will never miss any update. If you have any questions or queries in your mind, tell me in the comment box and also check out our channel. You find really cool stuff.